everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply Series range of books. Today I'm going to be taking you through Katie's 12 Bar Blues from my Simply Jazz Blues and Rags book and I do hope you enjoy it. If you want to know where I get the book, where I got the book from it'll be, there'll be a link directly above my head here or there'll be a direct link underneath this video in the description box. So if you want to know how to play Katie's 12 Bar Blues from my Simply Jazz Blues and Rags book then please keep watching. What I'm going to start off by doing is playing it through for you and then I shall take you through parts of the music. There we go, Tracy's, Katie's 12 bar blues there. So this has quite a nice um, swing and bouncy feel to it. You might notice that I was swinging a lot of the quavers or the eighth notes there. I wasn't playing them in a straight rhythm. So it, that's why it does say in a swing and bouncy style. There is another way that you can write that in kind of note form, but I didn't put that in because I didn't want it to kind of confuse everybody. I just thought if you wanted to know how it goes, then just listen to the performance part of this, this video here. So if you just sort of you know listen to this a few times so you can get the rhythm. pretty much it so da 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 so that rhythm is just very very repetitive and pretty much thematic all the way out all the way through so you just have different notes with it so the first note is an e flat now before you just go in there just sort of trying to find where it is the first thing I would do if I was you is get my finger into an E flat position before I did anything and then I would start playing I wouldn't just go in stick my finger down hope for the best so an E flat is going to be on the A string so the third finger if you've got a third finger dot put the third finger where you would normally put the third finger and then the fourth finger for the E flat is going to be sort of jammed in next to it so put my third finger down then I put my fourth finger sort of closely jammed in next to it, remove my third finger, and that's going to give me a perfect E flat. Assuming all your strings are in tune, of course, but that's where we're going to be starting. So what I can actually do, because I've got a D directly after the four, sorry, directly after the three E flats, I'm going to put my third finger on the D string, a third, the third finger on the A string for a D, just to prepare myself, and then I'm going to put my fourth finger next to it, then I can play. You see that I'm already with, with that D there. And not only that, I do know for sure that my fourth finger is going to be in tune. You've got an A flat in the second bar, which is exactly the same place that you just did for the E flat, but it's just going to be on the D string. So you can just, if you don't move your fourth finger too much and sort of keep it roughly in the same position, all you then have to do is just move it over to the D string and the A flat is good to go. Um, that's pretty much it with this piece. It's probably just the rhythm, which I've just explained, and a few of those notes. Um, you've got an A flat on the E string, which is coming up um, on the last two lines, bars 23 and bars 25, 26, 27. So they are going to be here. If you've got your third finger in its normal position, just slide your third finger back just a tad. So what it would be is normally the second finger would, would be jammed in next to the third finger and that would give you a G sharp but an A flat is a G sharp but because it's an A flat we, we traditionally as violinists we'd want to play it with the third finger so I'm just going to tweak that third finger back just a little bit and that's going to give me an A flat. Um, I suppose it, it's not going to sound quite as nice if you play a normal A. I think you could get away with it, but it is, it's going to take away the blues feel. So it's going to take away that blues feel. 
So that's pretty much for Katie 12 bars blue, 12 bar blues, nice and simple, just sort of more of a four back fourth finger exercise for you guys there. And you know, just play it in that nice bouncy rhythm. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed this piece. Um, thank you for watching. Do check out all the other videos and all the book series that will be linked in the description bar underneath this video. I've got Simply Gypsy, Simply Romantic, Simply Jigs and Reels, Simply Country and all that kind of good thing. So they'll all be underneath. And I shall see you in the next video.